The hypotenuse of a right triangle is six feet. Looking at the right triangle below, this side is the hypotenuse because it is the longest side and it's also the side opposite the right angle. Let's label the length six feet. Next, the height is three more than two times the length of the base. Determine the length of the base and the height, round to the hundredths. So the height, or the length of this side, is three more than two times the length of the base, which is this side. Let's label the length of the base x feet. And because the height is three more than two times the length of the base, we can use the expression two x plus three for the length of this side here, the height. Again, whatever x is, the expression two x plus three is three more than two times x. And now to determine the length of the base and the height, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to set up and solve an equation. Where the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the length of the two legs, which are the two sides that form the right angle, and c is the hypotenuse. Let's let this side be a and this side be b. Applying the Pythagorean theorem, we have the square of x plus the square of the quantity two x plus three equals the square of six. And now let's simplify both sides of the equation. The square of x is equal to x squared. To square the quantity two x plus three, we will have two factors of two x plus three. And six squared equals 36. To multiply the two binomials, we will have four products, one, two, three, and four. We have x squared plus two x times two x is four x squared plus two x times three, that's plus six x, plus three times two x, that's plus six x, and then plus three times three, which is nine, equals 36. And now let's combine like terms on the left. We have two x squared terms, and we have two x terms. x squared plus four x squared, or one x squared plus four x squared is five x squared. Six x plus six x is 12 x, giving us plus 12 x and we have plus nine equals 36. We have a quadratic equation. Let's set the right side of the equation equal to zero by subtracting 36 on both sides. Simplifying, we have five x squared plus 12 x. Nine minus 36 equals negative 27, giving us minus 27 equals on the right, the difference is zero. This does not factor, and therefore we will need to use the quadratic formula or a, the coefficient of x squared is equal to five, b, the coefficient of x is equal to 12, and c, the constant term is equal to negative 27. Applying the quadratic formula, we have x equals, in the numerator we have negative b, which is negative 12, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 12 squared, minus four times a times c, which is minus four times five times a negative 27, all divided by two times a, which is two times five. Let's continue simplifying on the next slide. In the numerator, we have negative 12 plus or minus the square root of 12 squared is 144, and we have minus four times five times negative 27, which is minus negative 540, which is equivalent to plus 540. And all this is divided by two times five, which is 10, giving us x equals negative 12 plus or minus the square root of 144 plus 540 equals 684, all divided by 10. Because of the plus or minus, we do have two solutions, where one solution is x equals the quantity negative 12 plus the square root of 684 divided by 10. And the other solution is x equals negative 12 minus the square root of 684 divided by 10. But keep in mind, x is a length, and therefore, for the application problem, we can only use the positive value for x. We are asked to round to the hundredths place value, so now let's go to the calculator. This value of x is going to be negative, so we will exclude it let's still determine the approximate value to the hundredths place value. 
we do need parentheses around the numerator, so we start with an open parenthesis and then negative 12 minus the square root of 684, right arrow to get out from underneath the square root, close parenthesis, and then divide it by 10. Enter. Running to the hundredths place value, notice how there's a five in the thousandths place value, which means you round up x is approximately negative 3.82. But again, we do exclude this value because we know x is a length, and a length must be positive. And now let's determine this value of x to the hundredths place value. If we press second enter, we get the previous entry, which we can now edit. We can press the left arrow and change the minus to plus. and then press enter. To the hundredths place value, x is approximately 1.42. So going back to the first slide, we now know the base has a length of approximately 1.42 feet. Now in determining the height, we don't want to use this rounded value of x in the expression 2x plus 3, we want to use the exact value of x and then round after determining the value of the expression 2x plus 3. Because of this, let's go back to the calculator. One way to do this is to store this value here in the variable x and then evaluate the expression 2x plus 3. To do this, we press the store button, which is here, and then the variable x, and then enter. And now that value is stored for the value of x so now we can just enter the expression 2x plus 3, enter, and round to the hundredths place value. 2x plus 3 is approximately 5.83, which means the height is approximately 5.83 feet. Again, if we use the approximate value of x as 1.42 to perform the calculation for 2x plus 3, there will be more of an error and it may be marked wrong. I hope you found this helpful.